You're tuned into We Talk Radio Network. is the executive director of the Teachers Appreciation Foundation. Now, the Teachers Appreciation Foundation is aimed at highlighting the roots of these phenomenal people, the people who are school teachers and the underpaid people at the school, um, the people who are our bus drivers, uh, all, all of those incredible people, the janitors. Um, they, they are pieces of the educational puzzle according to the Teachers Education Appreciation Foundation. I said the Teachers Education. According to the Teachers Appreciation Foundation, um, they say we want to build the movement of appreciating the, in, the whole school body. Um, Muhammad, uh, Kareem Muhammad, he actually is uh, born in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Shout out to all the Oklahomians. I said that right, I think. Um, they, uh, he actually is the executive director of this incredible foundation, the Teachers Appreciation Foundation, and their motto is the school village will teach the child. I want to bring him in. We're going to talk about his inspiring story, why he started this incredible foundation, and what they need from you. I mean, there's so many things. What he's doing right now, they've got award ceremonies. They've got this big event they're planning right now. I saw it. I want to talk more about that, too. I might need to find a way to get on that boat. But we'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> right now, I want to an amazing young man. He is the executive director of the Teachers Appreciation Foundation, Mr. Kareem Mohammed. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Such a momentous, vivacious introduction. I appreciate that. <laughs> He's so welcome, and it was definitely deserved, what you're doing for the community, for the teachers, for our students, because if you're blessing the teachers, you're helping the students, okay? What you're doing oh, for everybody absolutely. is definitely, definitely de- deserves some claps and some hats off to you. So I, I know um, I want to start at the beginning. I know that, of course, this organization um, and the motto was inspired by your mother, who was a school teacher for over 30 years. And yeah. you, I want to start with, you know, of course, why, specifically why. Did you see something? You know, I know you wanted a foundation that honors uh, teachers and bus drivers and cafeteria workers, custodians, and everybody who, administrative staff, and everybody in between that's involved with the school system. But let's talk about, I guess, the moment you really realize, I need to help. Go ahead, Mr. Muhammad. <laughs> well, well, well um, I had an idea. I, see, I did see a void. Uh, not only in the state that I'm from, just worldwide, um, where it was the unsung heroes, so to speak, it wasn't they weren't being sung for. So I came to my mom. I said, hey, I have this idea. You know, I want to honor. It originally started as honoring um, retired school teachers. And um, when she critiqued me, she was like, Well, you know, I've been to you know a lot of functions. You know, a lot of it was just redundant to me at this point. So I went back home and I just was uh, just thinking about it and analyzing, overanalyzing. And I said, uh, I came back to her again. I said, Mom, my God, it's right here in my soul. It's in my gut. You know, I want to do something yeah. that's that's unprecedented, that's never been done before for retired school teachers, quote, unquote. And then she said, well, let me ask you something. Have you ever heard of a custodian getting honored on this mega, you know, platform that you want to build. I said, no. And she started, she started just naming out the school bus driver, the cafeteria mm-hmm. staff, the, the actual teachers that's still in the in the classroom, and uh, dignitaries and, 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 you know, just the whole, uh, the, the whole uh, school village. And um, I said, no, I haven't. She said, you include that in, then you have something. And the rest mm-hmm. of history, I, 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 um, yeah, I, I started the TAF Awards. And what I wanted to do, I wanted to, I wanted that to be like a mini Grammys. I wanted it to be the analogous to lights, camera, action. We know about the politics, and I'm pretty sure this is echo worldwide about, you know, teachers pay and, uh, you know, teachers is underpaid and things like that. And, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the hypo- hypocrisy behind that <laughs> is that we have to have education, but educators are not, they don't have, uh, they have limited resources. So I said, hey, hey, let's let, let's go ahead. We 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 obviously, if you're an educator, you have a love 
to educate the, the future leaders of this country. You're not doing it for the money. That's obvious. So one day, let's hit, let your hair down. This is worldwide. You know, this is, we, we, our, our, our efforts are worldwide. Texas to Kansas to, to Beijing, China to New Jersey. We have footprints in all these cities, even Uganda, Africa. Uh, we have footprints in all these areas to say, hey, the TAP Awards is once a year, and this is your Grammy. This is your Emmy. This is your NAACP award. You know, if we're going to actually sing for the unsung heroes, and my efforts is worldwide. And I, uh, and, uh, I was talking to one of the mayors here in Oklahoma. He said, uh, Muhammad, where do you see Taz in the next five years? I said, I don't care if, I, if, if I'm on Nickelodeon. I want to be on the worldwide network to show, to show the world, hey, we, we're here to yeah. sing for these unsung heroes. And at times I get a bit loquacious because I'm so passionate about what I do for the educators. And I was raised by educators. So I know the importance of education. And when I go speak to, to you know, the youth, I said, don't let that sound like a cliche. Don't let it sound like, oh, I hear that all the time. You got to get your education. You have to. You have to. Whatever you want to do, you have to be educated and to, to know what to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, let me ask you this. You know, we've got a lot of educators out there that are tuning in tonight across the globe. Um, so that's mm-hmm. the thing because you're worldwide, and I'm sure they're wondering, how do I get nominated or how do I nominate somebody for an award? Great question. What we have uh, is what we call the TAF Awards Academy. Now, the TAF Awards Academy, they are the ones that go out and research and do the behind-the-scenes work and say, okay, this person over here, they can be a dignitary, meaning that an aristocracy, somebody who has an influence over bodies of people, a pastor. Um, so it's not it's not just limited to educators. Wow. Teachers Appreciation Foundation, yeah, the, the, the word is coined for for teachers, which we are teaching of all, in our own uh, uh, special way, our own unique way. So so um, and, and one thing I do like about that, and I'm going to get further to your question, uh, to answer your question, is when they see teachers, <clears throat> some people – Say, well, I'm not a teacher, so how can I be a part of this? Great. That 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 opens up the Pandora box for me to to elaborate on how you are part of what's going on. You just didn't know it. So um, that that's a unique way of how we get people to keep, you know hook line sinkers, so to speak, to be a part of what we're doing. So when we do have the TAF awards, which is the dignitaries who who are obviously selected to receive an award, then you have your nominees who are voted upon through the TAF Awards Academy to uh, receive an award. But nonetheless, <clears throat> even being nominated, you receive uh, public uh, notoriety, even being nominated for a TAF Award. 